Finding the right products that will sell on our dropshipping stores is one of the most challenging tasks that we have when running our dropshipping businesses. That is why we are releasing a series of product research videos to help you guys understand how you can find the best and most trending products to sell on your dropshipping stores. And in this video, we are going to talk about Amazon's movers and shakers. Quick intro and let's go. What's up everybody, hope you're all having a wonderful day today. My name is Luan from AutoDS, I'm the content manager and I've also been dropshipping for the last several years. And in this video, we are going to cover Amazon's movers and shakers, one of the many product research strategies that I also implement on my stores. I know several dropshippers who are also implementing the same methods and they are finding success with it. That is why I'm also sharing these strategies with you so that you can have your own success story. And hey, who knows, maybe one day I will interview you on our channel and we will talk about your success story. So for those who don't know, Amazon's Movers and Shakers is a category inside Amazon where you can find the products that are really trending, the ones that are selling the most in the last 24 to 48 hours. And this is really important. So it doesn't really matter if you're dropshipping on eBay, Shopify, Facebook Marketplace, Wix, or anywhere else. You can use this method to really find trending products to sell on your dropshipping stores. So let's see exactly how that is done. Let's head over to Amazon and on the top we're going to click on best sellers because movers and shakers is hiding inside there. So we click on best sellers and now you have the movers and shakers column right here. So I'm going to click on that. And as you see it says right here, our biggest gainers in sales rank over the past 24 hours updated hourly. So if you want trending products, you're going to find it here. The other thing is knowing exactly which category to go inside because these books are not so relevant some of these cameras are relevant some aren't gift cards are definitely not relevant so let's go over exactly what is relevant and where we can find the products now why is it important to find biggest gainers over the last 24 to 48 hours that is because the products that were selling last month they may still be relevant for this month but products that were selling six months ago one year ago are most likely not relevant for products that will sell today. So here we are going to get Amazon's biggest gainers over the last 24 hours, and that will simply give us a great indication of what's selling today. If you wanna get a quick, brief introduction on the best dropshipping categories, you can use the Amazon's Movers and Shakers blog article that we have. I will leave a link right below this video. And there you can simply scroll down a little bit and get here to the dropshipping niches for Amazon's Movers and Shakers. And here are the relevant categories. So you can break it down right here or you can simply watch this video and see what I'm going to do. So once you find the right categories, in this case, I'm just going to head over to Patio Lawn and Garden. This is definitely one of my favorite categories for dropshipping. And once we're inside this category, here you can see the best movers and shakers, the best items that we're selling in the last 24 hours in this category. So what I'm going to do here is simply choose a product that has great reviews that also fits the dropshipping business model, which is almost every product inside this category. Of course, if you're going to try to sell an item that you are not allowed to resell, let's say it's a copyrighted or trademark item. When you try to add it to AutoDS, AutoDS will simply let you know, hey, this product you're not allowed to resell it the manufacturer or the brand is so and so and then you will simply cancel that import process so you have a layer of protection when you're working with auto ds if you're doing everything manually it's going to be that much harder your store will be at risk since you won't know what you can and what you cannot sell and of course business automation saving your time when you're importing products automating your orders automating your price and stock monitoring and all of that scalability scale to success and start making those profits let's take it back one second so let's choose an item from here that i want to get from the movers and shakers Okay, so in this case, I'm going to go with this inflatable pool float set, volleyball net and basketball hoops. This is a great item to sell right now during the summer. And for those who don't know, we also have the best dropshipping products to sell during the summer. So we have an article and also a video on that. Same goes for the best products to sell in July and in August. So we're doing these videos at least two to three times a week and we're having them all on our YouTube channel. So make sure to subscribe if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet. If you are new, we are giving great content, great value. Let's get back to the video because I have a tendency of, of always going out a little bit and talking about different things. So this is an item that I want to add to my store. 
Amazon has it as a number one bestseller in full size inflatable pools. And as I mentioned about those summer dropshipping products and the best products to sell on July and on August, we're definitely recommending inflatable pools inside those and also other pool accessories. Going back once again, this is a product that is selling well in the last 24 hours. And I know that inflatable pools are really hot right now. If you watch our videos and read our articles, you will also understand this. So what I'm going to do in this case, I want to add this product to my store. And of course, this is not the only product that I want to add. So let's just open it in a new tab. Okay, so I'm going to leave that open here in a new tab and let's get some more items. Bug Zapper, great seller. Let's add that one too. Halloween doormat. So right now we're nearing the end of July. It's going to be August and then September and then October. So in just a couple of few months from now, we have Halloween coming up so let's keep that on the side of our minds by the way we also have an e-commerce calendar in AutoDS, so you can always know what holidays are coming up and prepare for them on time so that you will definitely be ahead of your competition there floating pool lights let's add that one too and this sunshade right here let's add that one so right now i already got one two three four items to add to my store from movers and shakers let's also add this expandable water hose okay so i opened five new tabs right here with these products that i want to add and by the way i can also add all of the items that i'm seeing here on this page it's completely up to you all of these products are proven winners so you can definitely go ahead and add all of them let me show you the different scenarios of adding these products to your store but the main thing that you need to see here is all of the products that we have in movers and shakers as you see we have more pages here they are all hot they are all trending and this is a great way to conduct your product research and this is only in the patio lawn and garden category so of course you can check out all of these relevant dropshipping categories once again if you want to filter out the ones that are relevant for dropshippers just check out our article we broke it down for you there as mentioned earlier go inside each and every one of these categories and start adding these products from Amazon's movers and shakers. Once again, this is a great way to research your products. Of course, not every product is going to sell, but once your products will start to sell inside Amazon's movers and shakers, simply start adding more products that are similar to that one that sold for you. And this way you're going to multiply your sales more and more. But if you have no idea what products you wanna sell and you don't want to copy other dropshippers, that is also a good strategy. But on the one hand, it takes a lot of time on the other hand, you'll see dropshippers selling for really low prices and it'll be hard for you to compete with them one on one. So what we're doing here is we're creating our own product trends. We don't need to see what our competitors are doing. Once again, that is a good strategy, but you should implement different strategies on your dropshipping stores. So, for example, you're going to add 50 or 100 products from movers and shakers. Then you're going to add another 50 or 100 products that you're copying from other dropshippers. But once again, always try to differentiate yourself from the competition. Make yourself stand out with your product pages. Have different titles for your products. Play around with your product's description. Play around with the product's images. And by the way, soon we're going to have a cool new feature on AutoDS to help you really stand out with your images. Not just adding watermarks, but doing a lot more great stuff on the photo editor inside AutoDS to really make yourself stand out. So it doesn't matter once again where you're dropshipping, eBay, Shopify, Facebook, this is going to be relevant for all of you. So once again, this is a great way to research for products. Let's get to the importing process. So we know that we want to add as many products as possible from Amazon's movers and shakers. We know that some of these products are going to sell for us. And once they start selling, we'll start adding more variations that are similar to the products that are selling for us. That way we're multiplying our sales and multiplying our profits. So let's get to the import process now. On your AutoDS dashboard, click on add products. Here you can add either the buy URL or the product ID, or you can upload a CSV file. The AutoDS Finder will simply find products for you so you won't need movers and shakers, so it's not relevant for this video tutorial. So let's add those products that we saw. What we're going to do is grab the products URL. So we're going to go inside these product pages, these one, two, three, four, five tabs that we have here, and you can copy the whole URL or just the product's ID, which is the ASIN, which is here in this case. But let me make it simpler for you guys. Let's just grab the whole URL and add it here in the add product section. Now we're going to make a line break and add the rest of the URLs or the product IDs. So let's add this bug zapper, even though it's not in stock right now, but we're just going to take this as an example. You can still add it to your stores because it's going to be in stock soon. And as soon as it lands in stock, AutoDS will make it in stock on your stores too. So let's just copy the URL in this case. Add another line break, add the URL for, for the floating ball, another line break, next product, which was the backyard shelter, another line break, 
and just keep adding them right here one by one. So this is one way to add products to your store and it simply does all of the work for you. All you need to do is add the products URL as I just showed you guys. Here the supplier is Amazon, the region is the United States. Choose whatever advanced options you want and then you have a choice whether you want to add all of these products as a draft, create and publish them directly to your store so they'll go live, schedule them for a later date and time, optimize them in that in the meantime, or edit the upload settings. So go through all of the settings, the pricing settings, all of the products optimization settings before you add them to your store. So those are the options that you have. In this case, I'm simply going to add them as a draft. So I'm going to click on add as a draft, make sure that the store is the right store. And now they will all be imported to the draft section of my store. As you see, the item is being added to drafts. Click here to track the progress or simply go to your drafts page. And here you will be able to optimize all of the products before importing them to your store, having them go live, and then people will be able to buy them. So in this case, as you see here, creating drafts, one out of five in progress, we can click on view details to see what's going on in every one of these products. Here we have an error. Let's see what happened here. So I'm just going to hover over the error. It contains a Vero word keyword pipe. In this case, I know that the product is not Vero, so I will add it to my store as long as it's not the brand or manufacturer. So if you see that the Vero is in the brand or manufacturer, you know that you have a problem. Don't continue with the import process. But if it's something in the product description, it's not a big problem. As long as you know that this product is not trademarked or copyrighted, you can go ahead and force upload. So we're going to click right here, force upload. Now, while the rest of the products are being imported to our drafts page, this is one way to import those products and it really takes just one or two minutes. The other way to do it is by simply clicking on import to AutoDS inside the product page, as you can see here. So as long as I click on import to AutoDS, this product will be imported to the draft section of my store instead of copying the buy URL here and adding it in the add products. That's another way to do it. The third way to do it is once you find your bestseller, like let's say I added this product and it actually sold for me. Once the product sells, of course, you can go to any one of the 25 plus supported suppliers that AutoDS supports today and look for different variants different features, different products that relate to that one that is selling for you. For this example, inflatable pool floats sold one time, at least one time for me from Amazon's Movers and Shakers. Now what I'm going to do next is search for more inflatable pool floats. So here's one example, I can search for it on Amazon. And once again, you can search on any one of the supported suppliers. So let's just jump onto Walmart for a second example. And let's get all of their inflatable pool floats too. Let's make it harder for our competitors to find our products. Once they see that we're working with more than one supplier, they can find everything in one supplier. They're going to go to different dropshippers and start looking at them. So let's make the game more difficult for them too. So here on Walmart, you can see a whole bunch of inflatable pool floats. We want to add as many products as possible because it worked for us. We added it from Amazon's Movers and Shakers. It sold, now we want more. So what you're going to do is download and install the AutoDS Chrome Dropshipping Helper extension. As you can see, I, I have it here on the bottom right. And of course, you're going to need that if you're going to use the one-click importer that I showed you before. So what we're going to do is land on the product search page on our suppliers page. So in inflatable pool floats, I'm going to scroll down all the way so that all of the products will load up. Then we're going to click on extract. Now all of the 26 inflatable pool floats that we have here on Walmart are extracted into this little extension. I'm going to click on export as CSV. And as you see, a Walmart export CSV file was downloaded onto my computer. The next step is to head back to AutoDS, click on add products, and then click on upload CSV. Here you can drag and drop that CSV file that was downloaded onto your computer or double click on it to open up your file browser window. Double click on that CSV file, give it a couple of seconds, and now you see it says file is uploaded. Now all of those 26 products are going to be imported to my store, to either the product section or to the draft section, whatever I choose over here. So in this case, I'll just add them all as a draft so I can optimize them. The supplier source, we're going to choose Walmart. The region is the United States. Choose your advanced options and add them as a draft. And now, as you see, creating draft zero out of 26 in progress. So all of the 26 products that I had in that CSV file will soon be on the drafts page here. And now, as you can see, the products that I started adding one by one when I copied the URL or the product ID. So here's that garden hose, the bug zapper, inflatable pool, floating ball lights, and there is still one more that's in progress. So now it's four out of five, as you can see here. And that is pretty much it. That is how simple it is to import products to your dropshipping stores and have the price automated, the stock, and even automatic orders, customer service, easy returns, everything else that comes along with it. That's not the point of this video. I just wanna show you guys some extra perks that you can use when you're dropshipping. 
and this is really the way if you want to scale and really make some great profits at the end of the month so that pretty much sums up amazon's movers and shakers how you can work with them how you can find great products to sell from here and what to do once those products start selling so i hope that this video was informational for you guys start adding amazon's movers and shakers products right after watching this video don't just add five or ten add at least 20 30 even 50 if you can 100 you will start noticing those sales really really quick because those products are trending right now i hope that you found this video informational if you found the value in it give us a like give us a share so that your friends and family can also learn about the wild and amazing world of drop shipping and we will also know that you appreciate content like this thank you for watching good luck with your product research happy drop shipping and great sales and profiting